We're still gaining 35 fucking pounds in 12 weeks, injured or not. And that's the difference between some of you pussies and people that don't actually make their shit happen. Don't get hurt guys, this sucks. Train smart. <laughs> don't squat 800 pounds. <laughs> Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to another video. And today, we got some serious shit to go over because I screwed up. Now, as you guys know, I've been dealing with this bad slip disc for almost three years from this crazy triple backflip. Triple, about to go down. Whatever happens, happens. Go, Mark. Shh. and from squatting 800 pounds over and over and over. Like clearly your body just isn't supposed to do that. So when you push it to the edge like that, injuries can happen. And unfortunately last week I was squatting in the gym and I've been rehabbing this for the last year and it was making great improvements. And I went to five plates for 10 reps it was easy and there was no pain. So I was like, yo, let's go to six plates. So I go to six plates, guys. On the fourth rep, I fell forward. The bar came over my head. I completely, I think, ruptured the lower disc in my back. I do not think it is herniated anymore. I do think it is fully ruptured. I have been dependent on like Robax and a few Oxys just to even get through the day. And I can't express that you need to be smart. And I know as young people and with the mentality that we have, like it's always pushing to the edge because you don't know if there's gonna be a tomorrow. And the reason that I live every single day so extraordinary is because when things like this happened, let's pretend I died that day. I could look back and say, you know what? I did give it everything I had. So I'm gonna live my life with no regrets like that, but obviously we're gonna have to tailor to this injury for the next week or two. We are getting a private MRI done tomorrow and I'm gonna take you guys along for that as well as a new sports med clinic that I'm going to and we are gonna diagnose the problem. And if you guys are dealing with the same type of problem, give you guys as much information as possible to get you to the same point that I'm hoping that I can get in the next two weeks. But just because you're injured doesn't mean you stop training, goddammit. So today, our pre-workout, we are gonna be doing Gorilla Mode, Icy Rocket, and we are gonna be doing Nitric. We are training legs today. You always say you're leg dominant. Well, because of this slip disc, I won't be able to train maximally, especially with my back or my legs. Shoulders, arms, and chest are still gonna be a good point, and those are my weak points, so we're gonna up the frequency of those three, but today I wanna give you guys some tips on how to train through injuries. So we're gonna make up this pre-workout, and I'll see you in the gym. I'm gonna take you through a leg day today when you're injured. When you're injured, it doesn't mean you stop training. It means you find a way to work around the injury so you can still progress. Obviously, there's some injuries that you can't do that, but for a slip disc that isn't gonna get better immediately, there's tons of things. The biggest thing to keep in mind with a slip disc is that you should never compress the spine. Everything we're gonna be doing today is either hack squat, belt squat or accessory work. So my spine is never gonna be compacted. And if it is compacted, it has a backrest that it can sit flat and get support. You have to remember like when you're dealing with a slip disc, especially a severe one, anytime you do flexion or hyperextension, those are gonna be triggering points for your slip disc. Now usually hyperflexion relieves the pain, but in my case, this disc is so protruded and so hitting on that nerve that flexion hurts and hyperextension hurts. So everything we're doing today is going to be so we can keep the core stabilized, breathe down into our abs and keep that disc kind of like straight. There's gonna be no hinging at the hips until it starts to get a little bit better. Because the one thing about training through injuries is if you do something that hurts, stop. It's not rocket science. And rule of thumb when working through injuries, in my personal opinion, 
is I do two sets at the same weight because sometimes like set number one it doesn't hurt but it aggravated it and then set number two hurts and then set number two if you add more weight you're gonna do more damage so I try to do two sets one weight two sets another weight and if both of those felt good then I'll try to push it on the last set like normally so we're training through injuries use this time as like muscle activation I know I always preach like heavyweight builds muscle fuck all these guys that train light I mean Unless you're a genetic gifted god, you will never get the size of an IFBB pro without lifting heavy weight. It's just inevitable. But we're working through an injury, so why not teach the quad how to contract better? So on the ground, I'm basically starting with two feet positions and trying to tweak my feet in. And it all comes from trying to tweak your feet in, drive your, out, drive your knees out, and then do the squat. Instead of having your knees cave here, you won't get the same muscle contraction. So on any type of like leg press, uh, belt squat, uh, where we're about to go to do the hack squat, you always want to train. I first started doing this barefoot and really worked on gripping the ground. And then once I got it, then you have put back shoes because you can really feel the ground better without shoes. So if you want to give that a try, I guarantee you, You'll get a quad pump like you've never got before, even with lightweight. This because I can like push my lower back against this pad, which keeps my spine flush, which doesn't cause that sciatic pain to trigger through my leg. It's finding little things like that that'll make it a world of difference. And then like, obviously if you can train smart, not taking six weeks off the gym is gonna be your ideal situation. Unless you get like surgery or something. Because the waist lighter, Rest times are picked up. You're not like hack squatting seven, eight, nine plates. So you don't need to wait a minute, two minutes in between sets. Get off, catch your breath, let some of the lactic acid drain, and then get back to it. I try to set this up kind of like a sissy squat variation. So a lot of people will probably put their legs like fairly wide and like they're just gonna work a lot of like, kind of like the outside of their quad and sometimes their hamstring if your squat's wide enough. I like to move my feet like down here and have my knees actually go in front of my toes so that there's kind of like less pressure on my heels and that's just gonna target the quads a lot more. Again, like we're gonna do hamstrings at the end so I'm just trying to target the quads as much as possible. Hey guys, so we're moving on to some hamstrings. You guys know the fucking drill. Pretend like you just dropped my acne attack skincare soap in the jail fucking shower and you gotta clench your fucking cheeks so big black Jamal doesn't come up behind you. You looking like a peppermint patty, I'm gonna be your daddy daddy. Toot that ass up! So I mean just shove like your hips right into the bench, flex your glutes as hard as you can, and that will be an active range of motion on your hamstrings. Trust me, you will not get another pump like this in your entire life. Just because it's lightweight guys, doesn't mean you train like a fucking bitch. You still go to failure, you still do drop sets, and you still get this shit done. Just cause this injury is not gonna send me back anything. Like, we're still gaining 35 fucking pounds in 12 weeks, injured or not. And that's the difference between some of you pussies and people that are actually make their shit happen. Guarantee you, you motherfuckers that complain you can't make money, enjoy sleeping 12 hours a day as well, and going out every weekend. If you're going out every weekend, you better make sure that in the time you're at the club, you made enough money for the fucking club. Same goes for the gym. You better make sure that everything's on point. Break all the fucking rules. Wear a tank top on leg day, goddammit. Gotta do some fucking biceps after this. So I'm looking small. Small. Alright guys, so we're just gonna finish this workout on calves. Kinda like, my back was feeling really good, but your back, especially when it's injured, can only take so much. So, obviously like, you know we're progressing into the longer, harder workouts. So, get, so to get away with a workout that's slightly less intense, has less volume than the other workouts is fine. Obviously the injury comes first over gaining the weight, but if you can somehow manipulate into doing both and not making either worse, 
do it. All right guys, so we just got home from the gym and my back's been kind of irritated after that workout. So I ended up taking two row backs because I, I like you guys know I had an issue with the pain meds in the past. So like I don't want to get addicted to those. So I only use them when absolutely necessary. But we got these six cereals. I mean, this company reached out to me and this is not a sponsored ad by any means, but they were like, yo, can we send you these like magic spoon cereals? And you can just try them out. So I'm like, yeah, absolutely. So fuck it, we'll just try it right now. When you're like, when you're a struggling bodybuilder, like three years ago when I was struggling to like make ends meet, nobody wanted to fucking help me. Nobody. I did it for my fucking self. Everyone was like, basically, fuck you and good luck. And you know what? And it's an accomplishment. I fucking did it. And now when you like start to move up the ranks, Every company is like, yo, can we pay you to put our products in your videos? And can we send you this to try out? And can we pay you to do this? Can we pay you to do that? And it's just crazy how the fucking industry works like that is like when you're struggling and you need the help, you don't have it. And then when you're at a stage where you can almost do whatever the fuck you want, everyone's like, yo, like, can we work together? So. Just keep grinding guys because pro I promise you, you're exactly where you're supposed to be. It takes you a while to feel like that. And even my back right now, I know this is a pretty big setback for me, but with that said, I know that I am where I'm supposed to be and this happened for a reason. And I don't know what that fucking reason is yet. Maybe it was to say stop squatting 800 pounds. Maybe it was for a reason that I don't even know yet. Maybe it was for a reason 30 years down the road from now. I don't fucking know. Maybe when I go for my MRI, I'll bump into a girl who will end up becoming my wife. You never fucking know how the universe is working for you. But just know it's working for you and it's never working against you, ever. There's not a grain of dust that's out of place. Let's try this shit. Wow. Eh, okay. Like the first bite was like on point. And then, I mean, considering there's, for one cup, there's 140 calories, but there's only 15 grams of carbs and 13 grams of protein. It's not bad. I'm about to go make our actual post-workout. And I actually move out of this apartment in 20 days, thank God. Then we are going to EDC Orlando. So if you guys are in Florida, let me fucking know because your boy is coming back. And then the world is a mystery and I know we have some crazy shit ahead because in 20 days I'm officially homeless and I'm gonna be living out of my car. So let's hope everything falls into place quick and I can make a decision and stick to it. And I will see you guys tomorrow morning to actually go get this MRI. So let's see what happens. Wish me luck. Stay beautiful. Hey guys, so the day's finally here. We got the private MRI today. I'm super, super stoked to see kind of like what happens. I know we are probably gonna have to make this a separate video on what the actual diagnosis is of this MRI because it's probably gonna take some time to get in to see the sports med doctor. But all in all, I'm just happy that I'm here. I don't even know where the fuck I'm going, to be honest with you. Clinic, I don't know where anything is, and everything is in French. So I don't understand, like, I don't understand what is what. So I'm just gonna see, like, I have no idea. 456, everything is in French, and I don't know where the fuck I'm going. And I, I like it's St. Joseph's MRI and they're saying like it's not here but it is fucking here and I've been here before and I do not recognize anything. So like now I'm kinda, now I'm kinda like tripping out. I was here, it's MRI time. I'm super stoked. We are about to go into the MRI machine. Um, amazing, like super happy that I was able to just like pay for this out of pocket and get in in two days. 
but I'm still gonna have to wait for like them to read it and then the sports medicine doctor to read it and then probably get put on another list. But at least I'm gonna be able to see like what the problem is. And then if it makes sense, I can either get private work done in the States or try to just like push through. And at least I know like the proper rehab to go because honestly, like every day is unbearable right now. But with that said guys, I'm not gonna drag this on too long because I don't know exactly when the sports medicine doctor is going to give us a answer. So I'm gonna wrap up this video now and sometimes in the next two weeks, I'm gonna be posting the results and how bad it is and the treatment plan to get it better. So thank you guys so much for watching. Next week, we are going to a two times a week posting schedule. So every Monday and Thursday at five o'clock, we're getting a lot more frequent uploads. Our bodies are coming together. We have a lot planned. I'm actually going to Florida in two weeks. So we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna be getting all of that. So make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Thank you guys for the support. Wish me luck and stay injury free cause this sucks.